beauties and welcome back. I'm Wanda Lee with Two Chic Chicks here to bring you a video today on the pros and cons of my Henry Bendel Modern Icon Convertible Satchel. A mouthful for a name for a handbag, okay? So today I am here to give you the pros and the cons of this handbag. And as you know, I um, received this handbag for my birthday back in December. And I have been carrying this handbag ever since. So I thought I would come back and just give you a little short review on, you know, on this handbag. I have been really enjoying the handbag. So here it is. This is my handbag. This is the front side back and the other side. Now I do have another video and I will link it somewhere around here about um, when I purchased the handbag and everything. And when I purchased this handbag, I purchased it from the Lenox Mall here in Atlanta. And um, I gave you all the information on how my experience was with that. They had impeccable service over at Henry Bendel and I really did enjoy my time there. So let's get into the pros and cons of this handbag. I'm gonna start with the cons, okay? Works really good for me to start with the cons. Okay, my con, as I said in my previous video, this snap right here to hold these handles together, I mean, for me, it's just not worth it, okay? I get the reason why it just isn't the best for me. It just doesn't, it's just, I said it would annoy me, and it does. Most of the time I carry it, I carry it like that. I do not carry it where they're snapped together. It's just too much to have to handle. The other con I have for this is, this handbag is heavy. It is really heavy. Once you add your things, it's even heavier. So, if you are not, if you're looking for a nice size handbag, where it's, it's a nice handbag. Let me get to tell you that. The problem is the leather is heavy. So, when, once you add your things to it, it even gets heavier. So if you're looking not to have to strain yourself with carrying, and it's not like a strain strain, but it does, it is a little heavier than, you know, what I would like it to be. Now when it's not packed with things, in which I don't pack mine's too heavy, but this has, um, but the leather is really heavy on its own. So you don't really need to, you need to try to limit what you put in here unless you enjoy carrying a heavy bag. So, um, just saying. So those are my two cons on this bag. What I am loving about this handbag. Oh my gosh. I love that it is multifunctional. Multifunctional. That's what I need in my life. I need everything to be able to do more than one thing. Everything in my life to do more than one thing. If everything can do this, what this purse does, life will be easy for me. This purse can go from large to smaller. It has um, the ability to be carried top handle, crooked arm, it has um, cross body, shoulder. I love it. It could be large like this going cross body and shoulder or it can be smaller cross body or shoulder. I love that function of this purse. Now what happens is I normally do not carry my handbag like this. I normally carry it like this. So I can get in and out of it quickly. This is how I normally carry it. I'm not one to baby a handbag, uh, so I just roll with a handbag, I buy it, purchase, and I'm gonna use it. So this is how I carry this purse. On the normal base, I go in, stick my hand in, I keep my cell phone up front. I am um, able to get in real quick, get my um, makeup case out of here, get my wallet if needed. So I do enjoy that about it. Now this handbag hold, can hold quite a bit. Now would you want to fill it all the way? I would. Like I said, it gets heavy, so I wouldn't want to fill it because I wouldn't want to have to carry it. So, I'm going to show you what all I have in mine, and this is what I carry on a daily basis each time I carry my bag. So, here we go. I'm going to show you all the things I have. 
First of all, I have my cell phone, which my cell phone is the 7 Plus. The next thing I have in here is my wallet, which is a wristlet, and it's um, a Pat Patricia Nash wristlet. I lost the strap of this a while back, so I just popped this in my purse as my wallet. When I run into the store, I may not always want to take the whole handbag, so I just pull this out and it has all the things that I need in it at that time. It has my cash, my checkbook, which I don't know how many people write checks, I still do sometimes. And then it has my card holder, my coach card holder. And it has my key. Things that are important that I need to get to real quick is in here. So it carries that, and as you can see, this is a pretty large size on its own, okay? Then I have tissues. I have my coupons for Kroger's, etc. Gum. Reading glasses. And my notebook for jotting down ideas, which I could put it in my phone. Sometimes I do put it in my phone. Sometimes I like to jot it down. And my new makeup case ah, that I ended up purchasing because my other one was so <laughs> disgusting. Needless to say, it was disgusting. So I bought me a new one. And what I have in here is, and I don't carry a lot of makeup or anything anymore. I have limited, my, my bag used to be a whole lot bigger than this one. And I made a decision, you know, I don't have to put so many things inside my handbag because I don't really do like a lot of touch-ups during the day. Though. Basically, I just need a powder and lipstick if I'm gonna do anything. So, here go my MAC Compact case. This is NC45. That's what's in my makeup bag. Then I have a lipstick here, my MAC, which is, I'm gonna have to write the name down because I can't see that in the back. But this is what I'm wearing and I am so springing today. I am really trying to get my spring vibes on. I really am. So this is what a nice spring color I am wearing now from MAC. And here's another lipstick. Oh, I was looking for a pink, and I ended up getting this one. And this one is from Urban Decay, and I know this name of this one because I like it because it's called Back Talk. I like the name Back Talk. So that's that, and that's from Urban Decay. It's a very nice pink to it. It's not pink pink, but it's just enough pink. And then I have in here, because those are the few things I had just to keep these things together, I have number 78. This is a fragrance from Banana Republic. Right there. And then I have my eye drops since I didn't have my eye surgery. I have to have my eye drops for my eyes daily. Okay, that's what's all in my little makeup bag. And I thought this was ever so cute to be able to go inside my Henry Bender bag. So that was... A new purchase I just got not too long ago. And I have in here my original strap. And this is the, um, the strap for my purse to make it a crossbody or to make it a um, um, just a shoulder bag. And what happened is I have not yet opened this and used it because I was wanting the new sh the straps that they have out now that have the, um, you know, the more colorful ones that have you know, designs on them and different colors or whatever on them and everything. I love those straps. So I was looking for a strap like that. Now, when I was in Henry Bender, I really did not see a strap um, like that in Henry Bender that I really liked that was silver hardware. Uh, everything that was there was gold hardware. So I didn't see anything. And then I went and looked online and I really didn't see anything. So that wasn't a problem. I just made a decision to wait, but I was just so happy to be in Macy's and I ran across this one right here. So I ended up buying this one. And this is black, and this is by Patricia Nash, um, believe it or not. And this is in, um, this is not embroidered, but knitted. Like knitted patches, multicolored, and they're um, 
all the way along the line of the whole strap. Now the only thing I like about this one, it's not black on the other side, it's got the you know natural color to it. So that's um, the strap I ended up buying to be my, um, you know, my strap for crossbody and um, handbag, you know, strap size. And, but I do keep this one inside my bag so I can use it in case I don't have my other strap on me. And that way, if I'm just out and I really need to be able to change and be able to be hands-free at a moment notice, I still can be. So I keep this one in my handbag for now. So I can do that. So I'm gonna put everything back into my handbag. So as you can see, the handbag is empty. It is empty. And I really don't put anything in this backhand um, pocket right here because it's pretty small and I don't wanna, you know, it's shallow. It's not really deep or anything. And I don't wanna lose whatever I put back there so I really don't put anything back there. Now, I thought this would be a problem here. This um, closure, I thought my closure was gonna be a situation, but it is not. You do that, you do that, you done it. Open. I just like carrying it like that because I can get in and out real quick. There you go with that. And now I'm going to show you what. And with this, um, the hardware is a little different. It's not um, chromy like silver, like shiny silver as the hardware on the purse. But, see, it's not. It's like a um, tarnished um, silver or something like that. So, uh, but that doesn't bother me because guess what? It's on the inside of the handbag, so you don't really see that of it. What you gotta do, and then there you go. That's how I have been carrying the handbag. Okay. Okay. So, if you have seen the other video, I had this, which I told y'all get back to you. I thought it was a purpose for this. It's just for looks. It's no purpose or anything for this. I thought it was a key or something, something that locks us up. It's nothing. It's just a look that's just for fashion. It has an HB on it. Now, what I did do, I had a luggage tag that came with this. Well, here it is. Here's my luggage tag. I had them to send it off to get my initials put on it. So. It came in a Federal Express envelope to me and wrapped up in a tissue and in a Henry Bender bag, which I'm going to tell you, love the packaging. You always get a brown and white Henry Bender bag. I love that with any and everything. Even though I had already purchased this with the purse, when they sent it to me, that's the customer service you get from them. They still sent it inside of a brown and white bag back to me. Okay, so here we go. Here is my luggage tag, and it has my initials, WBW. Now, I wish I would have gotten it maybe a little smaller and not bold, but outside that, I like it, and I like it. I just wish I would have done it another way, but that's no problem. I'm still going to put it on and rock this on my handbag. Now what I will do probably in the future is get another one, another um, luggage tag like this, and I'll probably just go ahead, I'm gonna call it a handbag tag, not a luggage tag, a handbag tag. And um, I'll probably get a one in another color or something like that so I can have, um, you know, put a little different color in here instead of being black on black, I'll just add it to another color. So now you have WBW and HB together. <laughs> so, that's that. Well, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you. Um, if you have any questions or any concerns or anything, if you want to put that down in the comments section, and um, I'll get back to you on an answer with that. I really would appreciate it. I hope you guys are having a great day today and that you are in, in, that you did enjoy this video. And if you did enjoy this video, if you could please give it a thumbs up for me, I really would appreciate it. 
And if you're new to this channel or you just happen to come up on this channel, if you could do me a favor and subscribe, I really would appreciate that. And click the notification button so you will be one of the first to know when I upload a new video. I look forward, oh, before I say that, and to all my old people, thank you so much for joining and coming back and just being a part and keeping me lifted here on my channel. Um, I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much, and I'm loving my new people coming in. I mean, we're growing. We really are, and I am so happy with that. And... Um, I would love it if you were to share us with your friends and family and just bring more people on over here to our little community and make us great over here. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Until the next one, bye-bye. I should arrive.